All right. So as you can see here in game two of this Eastern Conference Finals, we pulled out a 10 point victory. It was way more of a blowout for us. We were up by, I think, almost 30 at one point. But as you can see in that fourth quarter, the Cavaliers ended up scoring 48 points to our 30 because it was a lot of garbage time minutes. Didn't matter. So we ended up getting a 10 point victory. So the loss looks a lot better for the Cavaliers than it actually was. Cedric Lewis comes out with another masterpiece, a 44.8 rebound, 15 assist game, only one steal though. I was just not able to get the ball loose. Uh, the normal four turnovers, which I always get. 16 of 27 from the field. 6 of 10 from 3. I was just knocking them down. And 6 of 6 from the free throw line. Lamel Ball came back to life with 26 points, 15 assists. Only missed 3 shots, and 3 of those were threes. He shot 40% from downtown, which I will take any day. And Josh Richardson keeps up his great playoff run with a 16-point game. He is up to basically 10 points a game in this playoffs, shooting almost 50% from the field and almost 40% from three. So he has been probably our fourth best player in this playoff run. Eight and had a 16-11 game. He was perfect from the field and marketing his first game off the bench we did start nick richards in the starting lineup he knocks down four threes and gets us 15 points and for the um cavaliers mitchell had 27 points could not hit a three and mobley these guys garland and them all of these are all garbage time points they were not playing this well at all so really mitchell is the only one getting them buckets and here are the stats in synergy 2k we got the win we're gonna accept it and there we go 40 Four points heading into game three of the series series the series shifts over to charlotte we have two games in charlotte to possibly take a 3-1 lead that will be huge but we can't count out this Cavs team anyways let's hop into it here we are game three here in charlotte as the series shifts here to our home court a 54 and 28 when it's a 62 and 20 cavalier series split one game of peace the cavaliers winning game one and the hornets coming back after that gut punch in game one and just fighting back getting a blowout victory there in game two looking for a 2-1 series lead as mitchell misses his first shot he has not been automatic from three in the series you know what cedric lewis has been automatic from that spot of the court and it's a green that post fade out of transition right there on the left side of the court has been automatic for Cedric, and I plan to keep going there. That has been his hot spot. Donovan Mitchell gets an and one. And the Cavaliers that came out swinging, especially Donovan Mitchell, who already has, I think, like three threes in this game. And that is going to be my first one as I knock it down. And we have been going back and forth in this one. And the Cavaliers are not letting their foot off the gas, as they shouldn't, because you go into a 2-1 hole, it's not detrimental, but it's going to hurt as I'm going straight to the basket. LaMelo, that was not the great pass, but LaMelo ball. Yeah, that was a tough layup. I don't I don't blame you for missing that one. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a great series if this is the type of games we're going to get. Maybe game two is a fluke for Cleveland. They weren't expecting the Hornets to come back the way they did. As Isaac Okoro with the fading three knocks it down. This is not the Cleveland Cavaliers Isaac, I mean the New York Knicks Isaac Okoro in that series. This is Steph Curry 2.0. You know who else is Steph Curry 2.0? Cedric Lewis. Kaboom. We have a chance to take the lead right back here. Post fade. Good release. Cedric Lewis. That shot is automatic. RAS 3 threes in this game. 19 first quarter points. Hornets up by one. John Wall with the ball here. Bars. Gives it up to Josh Okoji. They're going to run a play for Evan Mobley here. I am right there on him. And he's going to take a fading three? All right, I'll take that. Josh Okoji is a great defender, but he's getting cooked by Cedric Lewis. I was going to say he was getting defended by uh, Cedric Lewis. Ten seconds left. One point lead for Charlotte. We're going to set the screen. For Tyus Jones that he will decide not to take because uh, why not? DeAndre Ayton, though, is going to give us a three-point lead. Going to the second quarter, what a high-scoring quarter. 35-32 to 32 is it the score at the end of the first. That's insane. The game has not really changed much. Still back and forth. Cavaliers hold a one-point lead. Post-fade, it's automatic every time, baby. Every time. Donovan Mitchell cannot guard it. He's got 14 in the game, but I've got doubled that. All right, got doubled that on less than half of his shots. And I have 28 points so far in this game. And it's just back and forth 
As there, oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was caught sleeping. I was caught sleeping. Mitchell's got 17 now. All right, all right. Now it's time to lock in a little bit more. Not like 28 points. It's like 28 points is not locking in. Kick it back. Lamelo, what was that? Maybe if he didn't um play like you have a like a headless chicken. I can't speak. If you didn't play basketball like you had no head, bro. Maybe we you know would limit the turnovers a little bit, but no. He's always playing so reckless, and I can't grab no steals. Nick Richards, great steal. Get that. You got to get that to me. Right up. Lay and tie game. All right, I'm going to sub out actually for the first time in this game. Probably not the best time to sub me out, but the bench did really good last game. Down by two. You know what? I'll take it. All right, the Cavaliers are starting to pull away a little bit with a six-point lead. We can't afford to lose back-to-back -back years in the conference finals, all right? I won't have it. I won't have it. One possession game. Cedric Lewis knocks down another three. He's only got five in the quarter. I will not stand to lose another conference finals in back-to-back -back years. All right, then I'm going to have to force my hand with this franchise and give them a tough decision. Either trade me or make some big moves because we cannot fall short in back to back a year, especially against a team we swept last season in the Cleveland Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell has been on fire all game long, but he misses that one. Post fade, that one's going to be off. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that would have been tough. This right here, 41 points for Lewis. Third straight 40 point game in these conference finals, and we're still behind in this game. The Cavaliers are not missing. To be frank, we are not playing great defense, all right, besides Cedric. But my goodness, dude, they won't miss. We finally, we get a stop, and they get an offensive rebound. That's just been the story of this game so far, and they get a three. The lead is back up to six. The second chance points has been just too much. Yeah, this is, uh, this game is looking real bad, dude. We can't stop them. We, we cannot stop them, and they can't really run plays properly. That's contested. Of course he's going to miss it. Finally, we get an offensive rebound, not the other way around. But at this point of the game, we're shooting better than them. And at this point of the game, we cannot afford to trade baskets. It just is not happening because we're just going to keep going down by more and more. There's no way he knocks that down, dude. And almost an offensive rebound if Lamelo and I weren't there. Come on, Lamelo, let's cut this lead. Post fade, it's been automatic. Not that time, though. I do not have that clutch gene in me. Oh, my God, dude. Every single time we get close, someone gives up a three. Dude, like, come on. It's not that hard to go under the screens. And then that, that's somehow almost a turnover. But if it was the CPU, it wouldn't happen. They would have caught it, no problem. Don't, Laurie, if you're going to take that, you got to make it. Nope, he bricked it. This game's over. In the third quarter, it's over. Offensive rebound. Wow, who saw that coming? And they almost score off it. And they get another! Back to back! Bro! Six minutes left. We're trying to come back here. As Larry Merkinen hits that, cuts it to five. It's just been such a bad effort. I don't know why we're running this lineup right now with Larry Merkinen running our center. Like, we should have our starters out here, but no. Steve Clifford wants to run this lineup here. The ultra non-defensive lineup. It makes it really just makes no sense to me. Donovan Mitchell. Of course he knocks that down. I am there. We finally get a bucket. And what happens? Donovan Mitchell just hits that three. Makes sense, right? Of course it does. Why is Lowry playing center? He's not a center. He's a power forward. Why is he playing center? I, I have to lead this team. I Steve Cl I can't have Steve Clifford be our coach next season. Why? Why are we running Larry Markkinen at center when Nick Richards is a center? Why? Larry Markkinen's second position isn't even center. It's small forward. Lamelo, did you really just take... I'm done. I'm done. I'm so sick of playing with this guy. I'm so sick of playing with Lamelo Ball, dude. He just... I, I can't... I can't express my anger right now without destroying everything in my sight. It's, it's just ridiculous. This should not have happened, dude. We shot a better field goal percentage than them and still lost by double digits. And now we're giving up and ones, dude. End my misery. End my misery. Up seven seconds left. Down by 14 points. 
Unbelievable, dude. Rebounding. It was once again rebounding. That killed us. That killed us. So, so I, I am so angry right now. Listen, we're not even going to look at the box score. Let's look at the rebounds. They had 11 offensive rebounds. 11 to our three. We tied with defensive rebounds. 11. They had nine more second chance points than us. And we were six for 15 from three. While they made 16 threes. We shot 60% better than them. They made 16 threes. What? How am I going to win a game with Josh Richardson scoring 10 points being my third leading scorer? I had 63 of 111 points. What else can I do? When they have four players with over 20 and then two with over 10. What can I do? What can I do? There was quite literally, every moment we had 20 rebounds in this game. There was quite literally nothing. I got, I clamped up Donovan Mitchell again. The third game in a row. I clamped this man up and we get blown out. I Cole Anthony played 16 minutes and had 25 points off the bench. Are you serious? I, I'm, I want to lead this team.